Hello, today we are going to take care of replacing keyboard on a vintage Dell Inspiron 1150, but I'm pretty sure the process is going to be similar for a whole series because the keyboard assembly that I was purchasing fit a whole page of different models. There is only one catch that you have to be aware, and it's pretty funny. On top you've got that panel that need to be removed in order to get access to the keyboard screw. But if you are going to try to pry it right now, it will not work. So what is the magic catch that I... I have a problem myself, you have to make sure that the LCD assembly is completely flat, flat like this, like a pancake, and right now it's going to be released easily, and you can see that the hinge cover in different position is going to be stuck. So this is why I've got problem, I was trying to pry it and it didn't work and that wasn't obvious because there is a small like cut. Let me show you that. Just like that. There is a small cut that was giving me a vibe that the hinges and that panel are two separated elements but they are joined together. So we nicely remove that and now we can remove those four screws. So let me go back to that look. We are going to remove those four screw and the keyboard will be able to be lifted. Better is not to lose the screw. And as you can see the keyboard is stored to being free. This is a vintage computer but I'm planning to use it as a old Windows XP gaming rig for a very old titles or software. So we are undo, we lift the keyboard from top and we go like that. And now we can see the flex cable for the keyboard. We are going to release it by pulling upward. Let me get a better angle. We pull it upward. And it's released. So let me give you a close up. Here is the part number, if you would be interested. And we are going to grab my replacement. And I hope I get a correct one. This is the replacement and the seller mark the models that are compatible. So you can take a look. I'm going to unbend those. Let's start with the flex cable. I'm going to nicely plug it in. It go right through. I'm going to put those metal elements into the hole. So we go like this and it's nicely. And now we can go and put our four top screws. In second we are going to open the BIOS and we are going to see whether the keyboard is working. But I'm pretty sure that we are going to get a great success. And I am start being happy just right now, just from what I see. And the catch, we lie our laptop with the screen flat. We grabbing our masking panel, those elements go first, just like that, they go first, 
and then we are going to clip it back just like that very nicely and we can lock our screen I'm going to plug the power cable and let's take a look whether I'm being able to get into the BIOS I do not remember which K it was yes we are in the BIOS I can jump I can change the date as you can see and we've got a good fix so as you can see replacing keyboard very easy very nice so thank you very much for watching I hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye